against Indiana. Alonzo Mourning had one of his best efforts of the season. 25 points and 18 rebounds in a game the Heat nearly pulled out when Vashon Leonard went off in the fourth quarter. 16 points, including four threes, before Indiana pulled away to win by 14. Tonight, it's Utah's Hall of Fame combination. Carl Malone, averaging 25 and a half points, third best in the NBA, and 11 rebounds. Partnered with John Stockton, number one all-time assist man, and number two in the NBA this season after another gold in Atlanta. And now we bring you a rare look inside the mind of Pat Riley. What is he thinking about? Well, will he play or won't he? We'll find out next on Sunshine Network. Once again, everybody, I'm Dave Lamont. Welcome inside the arena for what should be a special NBA game. Two of the league's best in the early going, clashing for one of only two games with Miami due for a January visit to Utah's Salt Lake City home, one of the toughest places to play in the NBA. But tonight, the question for the Miami Heat, Tim Hardaway's health. Will his bad back allow him to play? Maybe these two gentlemen have the answer for you. Eric Reed and Dr. Jack Ramsey, guys. Thank you very much, Dave Lamont. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to a big time Thursday night here in the NBA. This is a heavyweight battle. Utah owns the fourth best record. Miami is number five in the NBA standings. And earlier today, Pat Riley told us how much respect he has for 18 and for Utah. They're a smart team. They keep it simple. Uh, but they have what I call in the beginning of their offense, you know, there's a lot of one pass triggers, you know, where they score off the initial pass or the, initial, the second pass in their offense. And we got to really do a good job, you know, in those situations. So uh, uh, they have a great passer in Stockton, a great post up player in Malone, and, and uh, a great shooter in Hornacek. So they have three players uh, that you really have to concentrate on. Pat Riley speaking in glowing terms over what he calls the smartest team in the NBA today. Before we talk more about Utah, everybody wants to know, Jack, about Tim Hardaway's status. Missed the final three quarters Tuesday night and practice yesterday. Did take part in the shoot around, is warming up, and we do expect Timmy Hardaway in the starting lineup. He sounded very optimistic when I talked with him in the trainer's room, Eric. And you know Tim Hardaway is a fierce competitor. He wants to be in this game when the opposition has a player as good as John Stockton. Well, he's ready for that challenge. You hope he is physically able for that challenge. Another guy who will be tested tonight, P.J. Brown. Remember, when he was with the Nets, he was their starting small forward. He's a power player now and will have a daunting task defending Carl Malone. Carl Malone doesn't beat you with leaping ability, Eric. He out muscles you and out finesses you with position. He's great on the run. Stockton has him in his vision at all times and all he needs are his fingertips open and Stockton will put the ball right there. Carl Malone a great finisher a high challenge for P.J. Brown and Kurt Thomas who will also get a shot at him I'm sure. Pat Riley calls Utah the smartest team in the NBA and I think everybody around this league agrees no team executes their offense quite as precise as Utah. Well give John Stockton the major credit for that. I've never seen a guard who operates the half court offense as effectively as Stockton. No one ever. This guy in half court is a magician with the ball has huge hands which enables him to have great control of his passing and great vision to see everybody on the floor as Dr. Jack calls him so aptly the peerless passer and the mailman in Miami for a house call the Heat hope to send them to Orlando tomorrow night with a loss we'll have the tip in just a moment. This presentation of Miami Heat basketball on Sunshine Network is brought to you in part by Southwest Airlines. With fares so low, you have the freedom to go places. By Office Depot, taking care of business for companies of every size, everywhere, every day. By Gatorade Thirst Quencher, for some recess never ends. Life is a sport, break it up. 
by Outback Steakhouse. No rules, just right. By the Discover card, the card that pays you back. And by Miller Lite, you've got the great taste of an ice cold Miller Lite. Life is good.